start the day with a nice strong coffee. Good morning, NetCruiser here. It's bright and early on the morning of Auto Show. So I'm gonna drive to Toronto today. Try and vlog most of the day using this new DJI Osmo. Maybe like this is better. It's pitch dark. We're having a coffee, having a breakfast, and then we're hitting the road. All right, I think we're ready. Leaving the house. Sun's just coming up. Ready to go to Auto Show. Taking the big beast of a Tundra today. I haven't showed you guys this thing yet. It's pretty awesome. Pretty nice work truck. Gigantic doors. 16. It's a 16, yeah. yeah. And he put the platinum grill on it. Yep, fancied it up a bit. The yeah. wheels are TRD off-road. Oh, the wheels are, I thought they were platinum, they're TRD off-road wheels. They have TRD Pro center caps, yeah. TRD Pro emblems, uh, weather guard, and then the custom tunnel Full box access tunnel cover and then again blacked out blacked out pretty much all the chrome yeah except, well, the except the bumper ends all right so we're still on the road to auto show oh there's a the cop yeah. cop thumbnail <laughs> Anyway, still cruising on the road to towards Toronto. And uh, I just tried to record a clip with this actually and the whole app crashed using DJI Go. And I'm not doing anything fancy. Literally, I'm just uh, recording, not using any special tracking. Anyway, so that's annoying. But I was just thinking about where I am now versus where I was a year ago. And I was talking about how Going to the auto show was kind of a catalyst to get into more making videos because I ended up buying a Zero Drone at the show. So at the auto show last year and this year, there's uh, Big Boys with Cool Toys has a pop-up hobby shop. And so last year they had a lot of inventory and good deals. Anyway, thinking back where I am now versus where I was a year ago, you know, I had 300 subscribers, barely made videos, uh, once in a blue moon. and. Since I've gotten the Zero Drone, that was really a catalyst to get myself making more videos and I made a lot of drone videos of using it, unboxing it, and all about the hardware and stuff. And then I've just carried on from there with a bunch of RC and all, all the other fun things I like to film. Just filming in general, you've done just, a lot more. Just a lot more filming in general, yeah. So yeah, now I'm at 850 plus subscribers, working towards 1,000. And uh, yeah, there's a nice sport wagon. I had one of those, eh? You probably saw my blue one. We're goodbye, sport wagon. Hello, GTI. So I'm going to try and use the Osmo Mobile a lot today. I'm also using the Rode Video Mic Me, so I'm hoping that my audio is good without too much background noise. Admiring this uh, this thing here. Yeah, we weren't sure what it was, but it's actually a Lincoln. Yeah, it's a Lincoln. Looks pretty good. It's a very Porsche-esque yeah. taillight. Yeah, very much. So I think I'm probably just going to park up on this end so it's just easy to get out again. And then the Yorkdale Mall, then we hop on the subway, take the subway all the way to Union, then hop off on Union and walk around the buildings until you get to the Metro Toronto Convention Centre. It's so empty in here. Normally this hallway is just packed right full of people. <laughs> like just yeah. rammed full it's of... It's uncomfortably full most of the time. Full of amazing things to look at. <laughs> <laughs> we hit our first hiccup. The, uh, the subway line is closed at Yorkdale so we have to run a shuttle bus now. That's going to take us over to Lawrence. We have to take a bus Lawrence West to Lawrence Station, then we get on the yellow subway line. It's a southbound train. All right, back in Union Station. And the great hall's all ripped up too. I feel like they're doing renovations in here all the time. It is a really amazing looking spot when it's not all construction. Yeah, when it's not all covered in scaffolding. All right, we've made it into the auto show. This beast. Nice tracks, holy cow. So we're entering into the Kia area now and they got some new stuff, new Sportages, which I was somewhat interested in. These look pretty cool. Yeah, this is the new SX Turbo. Yeah. 
Well, possibly it's on the it's on the contenders list of a GTI replacement. I, mean, I actually like the styling of it quite a bit. White might not be the best color, but yeah, it's pretty nice. So because my GTI lease is coming up, I wanted to check out what, what this was like. It's, you know, it's not quite the fit and finish quality of a Volkswagen. I'll say that right away. And I think this is the top tier one, SX 2.0. Turbo, SX Turbo 2.0? This one's the turbo all wheel drive. This is the new Kia Stinger. Kia Stinger. All right, so I'm heading into the Ford area now because they've got a Ford GT. Really awesome looking maroon Ford GT. Yeah, yeah, the hole right through. This is pretty neat. This is the new 2017 Raptor. I thought it was out now. The blue, yeah, picks up the blue really well, actually. Just gonna start walking my way over to Audi now. So we're leaving Ford, go through Kia, and then head over to Audi. It's actually quite a bit quieter in here than I was expecting it to be, but that's because there's no one here yet. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, there's always, they're always constantly asking you to fill out surveys and questions and everything. <laughs> See, I spotted this, have to take a shot of it. It's some new Buick concept, Roadster. Look at this thing. That's a pretty nice looking Buick. What is it? I don't know, that's a nice looking Buick. TRD Pro Tacoma. It should be on my list, but isn't it like 50 grand? This would be really nice. Actually, that's a beautiful truck. I've never owned a truck, but the Tacoma is definitely on my truck list if I was ever to highly consider getting one. The, uh, yeah, the Tacoma and the, and the Nissan um, Pro 4X are pretty awesome. This is a really sick truck, actually. I mean, fairly basic interior, but it's also a truck. Yeah. It also right. has built-in GoPro mount. Wait, up what? Last. Built-in GoPro mount? That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's funny. The color? Color cement? Yeah, it's like a dolphin-ish gray. It's really nice. Alright, onwards. Check out this beast. Now we're walking into Mercedes area. MG GL. GLE. C63. Wicked. Green AMG GTS over here. 
that is hot. Well, they got an invertible too. An invertible. That's really nice. Look at this canary yellow G Wagon. <laughs> that is a ridiculous color. A G550 4x4. Whoa, that is insane. Look at it. Look at it. It's cheap. What's going on in here? No, can't. Oh, in here. Oh, yeah. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Air scarf system here. That's just Fans in the headrest. Pretty nice. Yeah, that's the big daddy there. Yeah, the matte, matte pearl white. Yeah, but what's the price on this guy here? 90, 93. Hyundai Genesis booth. They have the normal Genesis sedan, but I spotted this concept over here. Check this thing out. You know the. I find the, like, I would give the most improved category of the last 10, 15 years to the Koreans. The uh, Hyundai and Kia are just been, like, killing it lately with styling and quality. What is this thing? So is this a new, it's the new Genesis concept car. That would be the new, this would be the new Genesis sedan. Or, or the new one should look very similar to it. Look at the sculpting here. Fish gills. It's so wide open clear. I'm very glad that we got up early to come. It's like, it's got the place to ourselves. Yeah. Look at this, Lexus. Whoa, look at that crazy SUV concept, Lexus. This thing's pretty crazy. <laughs> the Lexus UX. So now we're heading into the Audi area. The brand new S4. Is this out now? So they've just, it's like a, it's a slight re-sculpt of the new A4. Oh, it's an S4. You know what? That's not, I mean, 60, whatever, 61, and then with options, it's 70. It would go like stink, man. I personally like the idea of the R8 or the TT a bit better. I got a TT Roadster over here. R8 V10 Plus. It's the brand new R8, too. Money. Something that symbolizes more performance. A sign for a special mindset. There is a sign for everything we stand for. Audi Sport. R8 V10 Plus. Man, that's low. Oh, so 
whack my head on it. Ow, whack my ear. You were really good, actually. Oh, yeah, she's beauties in here. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, guys, it's so nice. V10 Plus right now, the new one. That's what's awesome about auto shows, you know. The access you get to multi-hundred thousand dollar cars and just, you know, sitting in it, play with the switches, do whatever. It is pretty sick. And it's got the virtual cockpit. Really, really awesome. Really awesome. So they, they don't have, I don't think they have a new TT available to get in, which is crazy. I just came out of an Audi R8 and they don't have a TT that I could sit in. So this is the new TT RS, which I, man, wishless car. I actually think this is more, this is more practical real world than an R8. You actually have a back seat in this, you, you know, it's a little bit more practical. It's a hatchback, a really awesome styled hatchback, but amazing. RS3. R7 Sportback. Awesome. Holy cow, man. That's crazy. Oh, it's like stock versus born on the track built for the road. That's sick. That's a cool display. Really love that. Half race car, half half road car. That's amazing. That's awesome. So this is the BMW booth. I'm going to go take a look at their new new stuff. The M cars are so big though. Do they have a new M2? Here's the new M2. The M2, great size. It's like the absolutely fantastic car. Looks to be open as well. M2, beauty car. Let's hop in the new M2. Oh, that's nice, actually. Really light door. Typical tall guy move. Look how far back the seat goes. That's nice. Let's hop in the new M2. Right on. Red gauges. Huge infotainment screen. Looks like people have been trying to use it as a touch screen. M2, manual. Oh, no, it is a automatic. The thing with BMWs though, is I don't really like their plastics and their leathers. I've always thought, like even this is an M2, this is a $63,000 car, and I've always felt like their leathers were kind of subpar. For that kind of price, anyway. M6 Coupe, really don't like the style of this very much. This one seems really nice. 340i, X Drive 340i. What color on this guy? That is a crazy color. It's like a greenish brown metallic. X6 X Drive 35i. Nice name, guys. Nice name. Okay, we're gonna head towards Porsche now. 
Yup. Someday, someday I'd love to have a Porsche badge in my ownership. This is the new Macan. Really like it. Really like the size of it, the shape of it, the design of it. I just don't like the price of it. And this one's just the base model Macan. Nothing special with this one, and it's 71000 just for the base Macan. Well, I'm sure it has some options, but it's not a Macan S or a Macan Turbo. And it's probably locked. Oh, no, it's open. All right. Hey, guys, let's sit in the Macan. Oh, hey, I need to set up a Patreon and a crowdfund so that I could afford this every month. Look at all the buttons. Look at the sea of buttons. Take you a while to learn all that. So that was the Macan. Turbo S, wow. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Do you think? Do you think? I highly doubt it. No. Didn't think so. Oh, F-types are so sexy. F-400 concept. I mean, it looks exactly the same, so it must just have, like, ridiculous horsepower. $14,500 brake package. <laughs> and this is the F-Pace. Take a peek at Alpha. Alpha 4C Spider. Muscle cars. Hello, pop up hobby shop. Ten ninety nine for eight eight show pricing. So that's it's a hundred dollars off, ninety dollars off. Alright, so yeah, 100 bucks off an X-Max. The new one. The new 8S Power. Oh, and it's the blue one that I actually want, too. I like the blue instead of the red. Look at the size of the motor in that. This is an XL1 with a custom shell? The or or the something. Dynamite 1200K V motor. There's a new Traxxas yeah, like 1. Bigfoot 1. Right, those are what do we, and the Scully... Short course bodies they have. Yeah. 
All right, I'm gonna check out the hobby shop. The XL 250? No, that's XL5, that's the brushed one. No. Brush one. X, uh, Rustler X is 450 for the uh, Rustler VXL, Slash VXL, Stampede, all the VXL ones. Just, mi just minor savings, actually, not, not spectacular savings. I like that new Courtney Force body, though, actually. It's kind of nice on the Slash. Ooh, Armor Outcast. For f Ooh, that's actually. Whoa, that is. That's $170 off an Arma Outcast. Wow. It's a 6S truck. It is a 6S truck. That is a ridiculous deal on an Arma Outcast. Yeah, you paid $5 for it. If I did not just order the Cheetah, I would have. They are, exactly, yeah. They are, yeah. They're Arma's Badland versions. Yeah. I want to see the guts of it. Yeah. 500 bucks, that's not bad. Uh, yeah, my hobby store sells it for 680 680 Oh, it's really cramped in there, eh? They're waterproof it's too. Got the, yeah, it's got the new motor, new ESC. It's got a new battery tray system. The, the thing that sucks about these is the XT90 connectors. I mean, it's good and bad, but I don't have anything that's XT90, and I'm having a heck of a time finding an adapter for that in Canada. Nice truck. Good deal. That's a really good show deal. X Max, big boy special. Oh, this is the 6S one, right? Yeah. This is the original, 9.99. Show special. Is it the original one? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. It's all cuffed up. Yeah. Still for so they only want $100 more for the 8S, and with the 8S one, you're getting $500 at least worth of upgrades. Yeah. So yeah, not a good deal. Might as well just buy the 8S one. Look at the size of the boats. Hey Daniel, there's some boats for you. There's the deal price on a boat. What hall is this that we're headed to now? North. Yeah, so now we're going to go into the North Hall. We're already done that one whole building. Now we're going to go to another one. This is the second half of the show.